Sister Gina traveled the country in search of the most stressed out girls in America. We brought them to New York City and put them to the test to find out who was the one less stressed. And today, we're talking about fashion. Hi, I'm Carmen. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Beloit, Wisconsin. Oh my God. What stresses me out about fashion is having to look good in such a short amount of time. I like to dip my sleep and I like to look good. It's hard to balance the two. My name is Justice. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Panama City. This is crazy. What stresses me most about fashion is trying to keep up with all the different styles. They change so fast. My name is Petra and I'm 20 years old and I'm from Terre Haute, Indiana. Shut up. What stresses me out about fashion is keeping up like to the minute, to the minute, to the minute. What's well, cool because I can't afford it. Totally needed this. Oh. This is insane. We hope you enjoy your stay and leave New York City with one less stress. You have a new stress man. Hey ladies, it's Susie Castillo for Neutrogena's One Less Stress. I hope you're getting ready because tomorrow morning, bright and early, I will be there to teach you how to dress without stress. So get a good night's sleep and I'll see you in the morning. Welcome to Neutrogena's One Less Stress. It's a series devoted to helping you deal with what stresses you out the most in life. And one of the things is fashion, obviously. So to help us out, you guys all met Gina Kelly. Hi. She's the fashion director at Seventeen Magazine, as you guys know. Ladies, how would you describe your personal style, Jessica? I was born and raised in Florida. So it's all about looking summery and very bright and fresh. My whole huge thing now is I love cardigans. So layering. Layering, yes. Layering. Okay. For me, it's all about ease and getting ready in the morning and making it just quick so you're out the door super fast. Excellent. Well, I love how you all have very different personal styles. I know. All right, ladies, now it's time for your fashion lesson. Let's go. You guys ready? We're gonna learn to dress without stress. I know that sounds really hard. Rule number one is organize your closet. So take a look at how I organize this rack. It's by shape, I put all my little jeans together, my skirts, jackets, and all my tops. And then I organize within my shapes, within color. So again, you can find things really quickly and pull it out. Rule number two, build a foundation. You want to kind of spend a little money on something like a jacket that never goes out of style. So you can wear it for a couple of years. I know that you guys are starting to go on job interviews and have occasions where you have to look a little bit more polished, but you could go back and wear them with your jeans that you wear every day. And notice these jeans are like a dark wash. They're not too trendy. They don't have holes in them. So they always work for every occasion. Now you just learned about rule number three, which is mix and match. I mean, if you go out at night, you can do like a sexy little cami underneath. It's a bit of shine, it feels a little younger. Also, you should invest in a little black dress. So cute, right? I think the color is really important, you know? Yeah. I mean, this is a very neutral, it's black. Yeah. It, you know, if you're wearing a black blazer, it kind of just blends in and it's not so crazy. <laughs> now you guys know how to dress without stress, right? You gotta organize your closet, build a foundation, and mix and match. So Susie is gonna tell you about your challenge. All right, so hopefully you guys took some good notes because your challenge today is a shopping spree. Yay! Yes! You have $200 in one hour to create three looks. School, interview look, and the evening out. You're gonna be judged on four different things. Style, of course, individuality, appropriateness, and stress factor. Okay, here we go. Super ready. I'm gonna run in here to Gap, get the flip flops, and start walking. The first one, I actually got really frazzled. I just got a really cute dress. Green goes with this. I need, like, maybe express. I found the absolute perfect black blazer. There's lines everywhere. We have one minute left. And I'm not a runner, but I'm gonna run. So yeah, let's go get some tea and then wind down and cut. Life's just great sometimes. I'm very excited. I feel very winded. 
and I'm ready to put it all together and go to the studio and model it. You guys did a great, great job. So tell us about your look. Carmen, we'll start with you. Well, for me, I really stuck with that long, dark jean. You really uh -huh. wore it in all of them. I really saw your personality in all three looks, too. Because yeah. I know that you talked about um, comfort being a key for you, and you looked kind of like really cool and comfortable in all three outfits. Thank you. Yes. Okay, okay. Fair Next, enough. Miss Jessica. <laughs> I got this scarf. Like, it really worked in every outfit, each situation. Very, very creative, and it really showed um, your own personal style. Like, yes. I feel like you have a lot of fun with fashion, and it really showed. All right, Miss Thang. <laughs> with the teased hair. Yeah, I bought the dress. It's a big print, which I can wear because I'm tall. And I like the idea of carrying it through, and it was really easy. Well, you know, I was a little afraid knowing that that was the biggest staple that you bought because it's really loud print, it's kind of bright, but you know, you really pulled it off in each case. Good job. We have to sit here and deliberate yeah. and try to figure out who was the one less stressed. So Susie, what did you think about the girls' looks? The first girl who popped out at me was Jessica. It seemed like she really got the information that you had given them. But some of her outfits weren't so appropriate, remember? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Carmen, I think she did a good job. She got the pair of jeans. Yeah. I yeah. know that she tried to inject her personality into the jewelry in her work look, mm -hmm. but I thought it was a little bit too much. Yeah, I agree. And so, last but not least, we got Petra. I thought, hmm, she didn't really listen to Gina when Gina said, you know, you need that basic black dress. Yeah. And yes. at the end, I felt like it looked like a completely different dress. Added it, pink, yeah. you know, added a splash of color to it. So do we think we know who won? Girls, come on out. First off, we want to say congrats. You all did an amazing job letting your personal style shine, but what it came down to was the one who incorporated Gina's lesson and handled stress the best. So, the one less stressed and winner of a $1,000 shopping spree is... $200 for each of you ladies for the runners up so you can more shopping. <laughs> more shopping. So congratulations ladies. You guys ladies. all did a great job. The girls were wonderful. We had a great time. I'm Susie Castillo for Neutrogena's One Less Stress. Bye.